like going to the beach. Uh, I don't have a body for the beach, um, so very brave. Thank you. I don't have a, don't have a beach body. Right? I like the seagulls at the beach. Seagulls sound like they're laughing at you when you take your shirt off. I don't like that. <laughs> I like pigeons. Pigeons walk and they have jobs. That makes me feel good. I didn't realize how uh, broke I was until I started going to the beach in New York City. People go to the beach and they like go to the beach. You know, they got their beach outfits. Right? They got like a. Uh, hat matches their shoes, their shoes match their umbrellas, their umbrellas match their towels. You guys know what my towel matches? My mom's towels, because that's where I go. You know what I'm saying? My towel doesn't belong at the beach, it belongs hung up like a good boy, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like on the beach. People are like, didn't you bring a towel? I'm like tucking it under the sand, I'm like, no, I'm just gonna drip dry. I'm gonna drip, drip myself dry. That's what I'm gonna do. I, um, I used to be a tour guide in the city, which is cool. I didn't mind it too much. It was nice to get to meet a lot of cool people. Um, but one time at the end of a tour, I had a uh, couple come up to me. It was a Japanese man, a Japanese woman. And they came up to me at the end of my tour, and they said, we're going to take a picture with you. And I said, that's fine. And then after they took the photo, the man turned around, and he went, she thinks you have a very small face. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what? what does that mean, right? Walking around my whole life, like, well, all right, you're not that good looking, but at least you have a normal sized face. <laughs> Wrong, apparently. Wrong. My face was so small that someone saw it and was like, yo, we have to get a picture of this. Okay? <laughs> I know it's weird, but no one will believe us. Okay? We have to. They're from Japan. All the stuff to see in New York City, they're going to go back to Japan and be like, oh my god, Sketch Liberty, Empire State Building, the High Line. This guy, I know, right? But look closely. Look at his tiny little face. Can you believe it? <laughs> Upsetting, you know? I think it's just that I, like, I don't have great bone structure, which is very, I'm jealous of people with good bone structure. So that's like the lottery, right? You can't get better bone structure. Right? You either have it or you don't. And having good bone structure, it's like beautiful bones. If you don't have good bone structure, that's just society being like, yo, you know the party that we can't see? It is also ugly. You have ugly bones. <laughs> so, cover up your gross bones, man. You've got nice bones. <laughs> Sorry, that's my little joke. I do, I, uh, I feel like I have a serious case of nerd face. I look like a nerd. I am not a nerd. I am very cool. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually a jock. I hit a home run at Wiffle Ball once. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Wiffle Ball's great. I crushed a home run. I've been in New York for like three months. I'm like hanging out with my buddies and I hit this home run. And I'm like really proud of myself. I'm like, this is great. I just moved to New York. What a confident building moment this will be for me. And then I'm rounding the bases and I see my teammates and they are losing their minds. <laughs> Have you guys ever had somebody so proud of you that kind of hurt your feelings? <laughs> they were like, holy shit, you did it! I was like, I thought I could. And they were like, we did not. <laughs> I got carried off of a wiffle ball field. That doesn't feel good, right? <laughs> so, um, I, uh, I'm gonna, you guys have been great. This has been very fun. I'm very happy to be here. I was in a bad mood you know, for the last couple of uh, years. Um, <laughs> uh, come on, that's a joke. I'm fine. I, uh, I was going through a breakup. Uh, which is not not cool. People say the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody. But there were a couple weeks where I was out there, you know, really trying to get under a car. I think is what I was gonna. All right, we'll see when you do the. Oh, see Nathan, they're doing it. We're talking about it. We're talking about it out there. That's the worst thing you do at a comedy show. Oh, I feel bad for you. That's why I wrote these jokes. You would feel bad for me. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going through a, a, we went through a breakup. It's bad. She's Spanish. She spoke Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I didn't understand anything she ever said. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But she spoke Spanish, which is great. You know when you're on public and you see something that reminds you of your ex that makes you sad? That's how I feel about any Spanish person, because I hear them speak Spanish, and I'm like, oh, that sounds like something she would probably say. I don't know. I can't listen to Oya Como Va anymore. It's very hard. You know, Shakira, off the table. Can't do it. It's too much. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I'll leave you guys on, on this. Um, I, um, I, I'm, I, 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 I like doing comedy. Uh, I'm not much of an actor. I did audition to be on uh, Westworld. I did do that. The auditioning. Thank you. I love Westworld. Right. I really wanted to be a horse on that show. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the horses. Right. Next time you're watching it, Game of Thrones. Anytime a horse is on TV, they don't know they're actors. Okay. <laughs> you can see it in their eyes. The horses just look around like, what the fuck year is this? What's, what's going on? You're, you were just in a car. That's a cell phone. What are you crying for? Right? It's very funny. Alright, well. <laughs> Thank you. She's putting me so good. My name is Scott Vegas. Thank you guys.